Alright, so what is going on guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm gonna do all the information that I know about Master Pirates, the NPCs, leveling guides, the offer tier list, game pass and more. So if you haven't done so, please make sure to smash the sub button. It will really help me out, it will help my channel grow. We're so close to 5k subs. So let's get into the video. Let's go. So I'm gonna do first the leveling guide in this video. So I'll be compiling all information that I have on this game. So the first one is the starter island, obviously level zero, level one. I'm gonna grind here until level 35. So here's the first quest. Second quest level 10 and the boss right here. So level 35 we're gonna grind here until level 35 and then you're gonna go into into Girl's town so just buy the log post at the port actually i'm gonna show you guys it so here you can buy the log post or obviously 1k that's pretty cheap and yeah and it's very important too so let's go so we're here at shellstown again so 35 there's the first quest 35 and the next one is 50 so you're gonna grind here until you reach 65 then you're gonna go into orange town just um north of this island so let's go Orange Town now. So this is the level 65. This is NPCs right there. And the boss is level 90. Obviously buggy. Let's kill him first by the way. Sadly I didn't get any drop, but yeah. So level 90. And the next one, I mean you get a grind for at least like till you reach 150 here, 150, and then you're gonna go into no island so this All right so right here so the first quest is right there 105 obviously there's a lot of pieces here with 105 so yeah so there's actually a boss right there right here on top of this right here so 130 Obviously, I don't recommend this because they're pretty strong. It is pretty strong. If you're low level, I think you can't solo it. I mean, you can, but it's gonna take your time, so I don't recommend this. Alright, so you're gonna grind here until 150, and then you're gonna go into Park Park. So, let's go. So we have arrived here at Dark Palace. Uh, obviously, there's only one quest here, so 150. You're gonna grind until you reach 200. And then you're gonna go either into the desert island. So let's go. So we have arrived here at Sand. Um, why is he here, bro? So level 200, quest is right there. Uh, 250 is up here, right there, and the boss. Obviously, I don't know why it's here. So, 275, and then you're gonna grind here until you reach 300, and then you're gonna go into Park Park. So, here, um, obviously, this is the 301, so you're gonna reach 350, then do this. The boss is 300. No, it's actually 400. So you're gonna grind here until you reach 425. 400, yeah, 425 ish. And then you're gonna go into the sky park. Um, go there right now. So this 
arrived here, I guess I, I, I don't know. I don't guess I was wrong. I'm pretty wrong, but earlier, so it's actually 450. Now we're over here, so you're gonna at least spend 50 levels each on this island. So 450 here. The next one would be 525. Uh, right there. So 525. Quest giver was right here. And the next one is 575. We're gonna go here. Right there. 575. And the quest giver is right here. So I recommend you guys use the times 2 code only for this island because you're gonna get like really long to grind here it took me at least four hours to get out of this island so yeah here at 635 um so there that's pretty much a lot and the boss is right here 675 also right here the boss is quite strong too so yeah Alright, so after all of those, you're gonna need until 7.50 Yeah, so we're gonna go into Barati right now That Barati So the first quest is right here 7.50 The NPCs are outside And the next one Be the 800 What? So it's bug right now, <laughs> it's over here The next one is 825 we go right in here, 825. That guy, we're strong too, so yeah. So the max level is 950. So yeah, it's 950. Yep. Alright, so obviously we're gonna go with the fruit gacha first, and then the swords, and then the uh, fighting styles. And then the others are uh, etc. Uh, we're gonna go for first with the fruit, and then we're located at the starter island over here. Here's the port, and then just follow me right into this this tower right there. Just head over there. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, go right there. Over here, so there's actually a level requirement, so you need to be at least level 100, level 100 to be able to win some fruits. So yeah, and also if you have a lot of money, um, bellies or robux, then you can buy some fruits via the black market. Uh, over here, so this is statue right there, the port. And then here, so just gonna take a look. Gonna buy the fruit. Uh huh. So yeah, we're gonna see how much it is. Let's see. One eight. I think all mythical is one eight. One four, so Phoenix is at the top with one thousand eight hundred Robux. So that's that's a lot. Alright, so the next one we're gonna talk all about swords. First, we're gonna go into the starter island over here. So that's the port again. Again, here we have the katana seller. I assume and the black for two k. Obviously, yeah. Alright, so the next one would be the Cutlass. Uh, we're located at the Orange Town. So we're over here, right there. So just head over here. You can find it in the middle, right there. Um, we're gonna go see how much 6.5k. So obviously, I don't want to buy it. I have the Shizui V2. Alright, so the next one would be the Pipe. So let's go. Alright, so the next one would be the pipe. So it's located at Shellstown and we're right there. So I'll just go into the right side of the island over here. Gonna go into the pipe cellar. 
yeah it's for 2k i don't recommend the pipe just go straight for the shizui if you guys want so let's go Alright, so the next one would be at the desert island, the Alabasta, on the sand. So, we're just gonna head even over into the Shizu cellar. Go right on top. Behind the sword. Then here we go. So it costs 45k, it's worth it. I, I commend, recommend this to all beginners out there to buy Shizu. Alright, so this time we're gonna go with the fighting styles. Uh, there is, I think, three and one upgradable version of a fighting style. So we're gonna go into it right now. So we're at the starter island. Uh, we're gonna go by the black leg. So obviously I have one, but I'm gonna show you the location. Oh, it's here, it's here. So it cost, it cost around 35k. I don't know what's the method for getting the version 2 it was pretty complex but I know I get the idea of it but it was pretty complicated I'm not gonna show it into this video right so the next one we're gonna go into the shark part we're gonna get the fishman let's go all right so we're over here at the shark part so we're gonna buy the fishman fighting style so follow me we're gonna head over here into this corner right here we're gonna find the fishman seller of course uh, 30k i don't want to say okay, bye and yeah okay, that was it so the last one is the dragon claw it's pretty expensive uh i think yeah i recommend it if you're a melee user but yeah, so we're gonna go into the shell town right there. So let's go. All right, so we're at shell town. Now we're gonna go into the NPC. Just head over to the right side. Over here. Down here, there's a secret room. All right there. All right, so. Not ready yet. There's a process for this. You're gonna need torch. I'm gonna show it. I already have it. It's on my other video. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. So let's go. So I know you guys are thinking, why is this guy not uploading the Euro V2 quest? Um, the Black Lake V2, the Dragon Claw, the Dragon Claw puzzle and stuff more so i won't do the puzzles on this um video i already did did dragon claw and shizui but your v2 i already know the process black leg also i already know the process but the thing is i can't time the island much of the black leg and i also don't have euro so i can do euro v2 so I'm gonna put it on the description below, um, the Shizui and Shizui and the Dragon Claw. So you guys won't get confused. I won't add them in this in this video because it will be too long. So yep. All right. So now we're gonna go into the Haki sellers. So the first one we're gonna do is for the um, Buso Haki. So. Let's try it. just follow me. Just go into the right side of this island. This is right here. Right here. So 10k. Press J if you press J if you want to activate it like this. I don't know if it has a full body hockey. I don't know anything about that, but yeah so we're gonna go straight into this straight into the observation haki okay that's sky island so let's go all right so we're here at the sky island so we're gonna go into the ken haki cellar let's go right into that just behind this tree oh we're here ken haki 
go for 10k for those for the hackies now let's go for the next one i'm gonna show you guys the other npcs that i haven't mentioned yet in this video so the first one obviously we're here at dark castle so it is the random random hacky seller so he's inside of this oh from the stock to him for five ruby yeah so five ruby all right so i think you also need the rainbow orb so yeah all right so the next one would be the soil seller at sky island follow me on top of this so, and sorrow. Of course, I have it 5k only. So, press R to use it. So, yep. So, the last one is uh, the stat reset. So, you can actually reset your stats for at least 20 rubies. And then, we're at, it's okay at a sharp part. So, just follow me. So it's this guy or stats you want to resist oh so oh it's 25 then I have a FRV obviously I don't alright so the next one that I'm not going to tell you guys is the top five you need to use for grinding so the top five do fruits obviously it's not biased um it's not in orders I mean it's not in ranking so it's just the five fruits that you need to have so so we're gonna go with the fifth one um it's debatable so i think i'm gonna go with sand sand pretty much the moveset is really good for grinding uh the damage is not that really high but the v move has 1k damage and the cooldown is really low so you can combo it with the other things like shizui and black leg so the fourth one i'm gonna go with light yeah, so I'm using light now and I can say it's pretty It's good, right? It's good. So the damage is pretty decent. The cooldowns low And yeah, the moveset Yeah, I think the moveset is made for grinding too. So pretty cool, pretty cool Alright, so the third one Also debatable that would be dark my favorite uh, Because it has AOE the damage is Yeah, also cool but I didn't even use dark yet, so I'm debatable, debatable. So the next one that would be fire. So fire is the movesets are also like the light. It's pretty cool. The damage is also that not that very high, but you know it's mid. And then the last one that would be magma so that rarest fruit in the game with 0 0.01 drop chance it has the highest damage in game via admins so i don't think i saw one using magma but they said they said that it's pretty much high so i didn't include phoenix over here so it's not made for grinding i think it's made for bosses and other stuff so yep let's just go into the next one so this part of the video i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys what game passes that you should have if you are rich okay so if you're not rich you're not forced to buy this one so you can skip this part of the video if you want to but yeah okay so first off um the first the first that you need to have is the striker boat or the coffin boat so either way they're very very um essential to new players without fruits to go into the islands so you can get there fast so yep so the next one is the times two belly obviously you need it for your like if you need fruit if you need something or the dark claw dragon claw or the black like vitsu they are very expensive so you need the times two belly so i pretty much recommend it and and then the dark blade so i don't really recommend it that much but there's a euro v2 i think it's pretty pretty 
OP with question mark that is so it's questionable debatable so yeah that was that was pretty much it so all of those uh, three I mentioned four me maybe I think they're essential if you have if you haven't bought it so just buy it the master island I think it's yeah it's also debatable because pretty much I don't know how it works yeah I don't know what islands gonna pop up I think it's for the black like V2 but I don't know I don't know how it works because I haven't seen it one I I have the I have the game pass but yeah I still don't know how it works so yep all right so we're gonna go with the codes so there's 14 of it so press M to redeem put the code here I'm gonna put all the codes so I already redeemed all so if you guys um think that the code is not working please comment it down below so everyone can see it's not working I mean if it's uh, expired so right so we started out with Kingdom KD that was for 200 belly no 2000 belly and 1 ruby next one is the OP code so times 2 for everything times 2 XP times 2 drop times 2 belly for an R 1 ruby so I already already used it next one is for money only 1000 belly still uh, useful the next one is the reset stats nooper obviously I used it the next one is times two money plus 100 belly so Makuma already used this one I think gives at least 10k belly peaker gamer so be careful with the K it's capitalized uh, code use so this one is for the times two drop C4 for 20 minutes already used so times two money for 30 minutes is a cry already used 50k belly I'm gonna do it that again ton my studio and then reset stats is dino ch Careful, there's an underline here. Already used. The next one is also reset stats. So, mono app already used. So, the latest codes Ice Barber. Could you use Ice Barber again? 5, 5 Ruby. And the next one is Zcraft Day. Already used for at least 2 Ruby. Ixa Jr. for 29k belly and the last one is Akumatsuri for 1 ruby so you can actually reset your stats so that was pretty much it I hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like and smash the sub button peace out boys